How we doing sports betters? Ghost Picks Team Justin here. Starting off this video by saying if you guys have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. It takes two seconds, it's free, it's easy, and it just gives you access to all Team Justin's content that we have available for you guys. If you're watching this on Jimmy's page, go ahead and click the link and go to Team Justin, subscribe. Um, it's not always that I put my video on uh, Jimmy's pages. It's only when we have a big play, which we do tomorrow. We have an absolute huge red alert on the books for tomorrow, guys. It is an absolute banger, and we could not be any hotter than we are right now going into this red alert. 38-4 and four on all NHL plays in the month of January, guys. It is absolutely unreal. The streak that we are on. I told you guys, I keep saying this over and over again. We're reading lines right. We're catching all the angles that we can here. We're taking favorites. We're taking underdogs. We're doing just about everything you can do, and we are winning all the time. You guys are going to want to be a part of this red alert. You're going to want to hop on, and there's a two ways that you guys can do this. You can either get the weekend package. It's, on, it's pinned in the comment section, Justin's promo. It's $99.99. It gets you all plays. The red alert included tomorrow, through Sunday, that's all NHL, all NFL, including the playoffs, as well as any NCAA basketball that we have for you guys. You can do that, which is an absolute monster deal. It's great value. It gets you all the plays. And I'm just saying we have been dialed in, and I don't see it changing anytime soon. Might as well get on now and just buckle up for the ride. Or you can go ahead and you can just purchase the Red Alert. That, too, is in the link. It's $50, and it just gets you the Red Alert play. Talking about the red alert, obviously I'm very excited about it, but that's not the only play that I like tomorrow. There are at least three other games that I have my eye on, and I think for sure two of them are going to go ahead and be a play. There's just so many options. You look at a night like tonight where you only have three games to pick from. We only took one game. Looking at tomorrow, there's over 11 games. It's just, what do you do? You can just pick from whatever you want. It's too easy for us to find an angle and make some money off these games. Um, guys, I'm telling you that $99.99 is just an absolute steal. Um, but enough about the promos, enough about tomorrow, what we have for the weekend. Um, I will say it's there. Today, we had an absolute another monster day. We had one play, like I said. We had a free play for you guys, which um, was a winner. We took Alabama versus LSU minus two and a half. Uh, they ended up winning by, I think it was four. What, it was a four or three, I forget. Um, it was close. It was closer than expected, but, you know, Taking a team that's unranked versus the number 12 ranked team in the nation uh, is never an easy thing to do. You always uh, kind of worry about if you're setting yourself up for a huge embarrassing failure. Um, we put it up there for a free play for you guys. I hope you guys were able to hop on it early and go ahead and get on that line early and attack it and get the W. Uh, same thing with our NHL game today. We put the play out. I, I really had a hard time. I kept Today, I had two plays that I liked. I almost put them both out there, um, but I wasn't. 100% confident or like I wasn't I didn't feel like we were gonna like they were both uh, locks I'll be the first one to say it um, both of them were underdog plays we like the Rangers today and we like the Coyotes today um, if you're a fan of hockey you know that they both won which is great for us obviously we're sniffing out these dogs like I said I am kicking myself for not pulling the trigger on both the games but we just took one we took a four unit play on the New York Rangers plus 135 to take down the Toronto Maple Leafs Obviously, a lot goes in this play. Shesterkin has been absolutely lights out for the Rangers. They've been a very good team at home. They've beaten some very good competition, uh, which are the likes of Florida, Tampa Bay. And then looking at Toronto, they've been on this uh, road trip. They, you know, they went to Arizona. They went to Vegas. Um, they were in Colorado. You know, they were all over the West Coast. They come to the East Coast. I feel like times are going to catch up to them. Um, I just really like the Rangers, their ability to score. And in the first period, it looked like it was an absolute bust. They got down 2-0 early in the first. They finally punched a goal in, and then Toronto answered right back. 3-1 at the end of the first, and I was kind of, you know, kicking myself, looking at everything. However, we had faith, and we, we waited it out. New York came out in the second period. Ryan Reeves, the guy who is not known for scoring goals, absolutely picked them up by their bootstraps and drugged them. Two goals to make it three to two, a guy who is there to strictly have an enforcer presence, really does the job well and gets two goals for us, brings us within striking distance, and then the Rangers do the rest. They have four unanswered goals. They end up winning six to three with an empty netter and giving Team Justin the plus 135 winner that we wanted, springing us into the red alert for tomorrow. 
Um, can't wait for it. And I just absolutely love it when I get these guys a bankroll who are all over the week package. And that way we can go, we can go as hard as we want on this red alert. That's all I'm saying. Um, really excited about it. And, um, I hope you guys are too. I know you guys are on the, um, team Justin's week package. Um, I want to see you guys in the comment section. I want to see, um, what you guys are thinking, what you're liking, what you're not liking. Um, obviously there's a lot of good going on right now. I'm not oblivious to that. Um, but you know, there's always room for improvement and I'm, I'm open for it. Uh, our free play for you guys tomorrow. We got the San Jose Sharks taking on the Seattle Kraken. Um, looking at this game, we got Hill, Grubauer, uh, the Kraken coming off a well hard fought victory versus the Chicago Blackhawks. Um, surprised a lot of people, but we were on uh, the Kraken. The Kraken are a pretty decent team at home. They, when they, uh, on the road, they're doing very bad. Um, I'll be the first one to say they're, they're not looking so hot on the road, but at home, they're a different animal. They get the energy of the crowd um, and they just play well. They, they score a lot of goals as well. Uh, so for our free play tomorrow, we're going to go ahead and take the Kraken on the money line, minus 115 at home versus the San Jose Sharks. Um, some people may not agree with this call. I do feel pretty strongly about it. I think it might sneak its way onto my premium card. Um, this is definitely one of the three games besides the red alert that I was talking about. And I'm giving it to you guys uh, today and trying to get this uh, free play streak rolling again. I know we had a win yesterday and a loss the day before, but I think we're five and one in our last six of free plays. Um, so if you guys are a fan of the free plays, subscribe, like, if you're on Jimmy's page, head over to Team Justin's page, subscribe and like on my page as well. And you guys can be on for all the plays that we have. Um, once we hit 2,000 subscribers, we're going to be doing something special for you guys again. So get on that earlier than later. I We just did a, if you guys are new, we just did 1,000 subscribers and we gave out two days of premium cards. And those guys were lucky enough to get a, we went five and one of the premium cards and they just absolutely cleaned up. So subscribe, like the channel, go ahead and give me a comment. Good luck, God bless, grind on, and let's go. I'll see you guys at the red alert.